Once upon a time, in the prosperous kingdom of Viridia, there ruled a king named Alistair. To the outside world, King Alistair appeared regal and wise, but behind closed doors, he was a ruler plagued by a dark heart and selfish ambitions. He had ascended the throne after the untimely demise of his father, King Roland, who had been a beloved and just leader. King Alistair, consumed by his desire for power and control, soon began to enact oppressive policies upon his subjects. He imposed exorbitant taxes on the common people, burdening them with unbearable financial strains. The once thriving marketplaces grew desolate as poverty swept through the kingdom, leaving the citizens in a state of despair. Alistair's cruelty extended beyond economic exploitation. He showed no regard for the welfare of his people, neglecting the basic needs of the impoverished. Their pleas for assistance fell on deaf ears as the king surrounded himself with a corrupt council, who only sought to further their own wealth and influence. As the years passed, the kingdom of Viridia deteriorated under Alistair's rule. The once vibrant streets echoed with cries of misery and desperation. The people's spirits were crushed, their hope waning, and their faith in their ruler shattered. News of the king's tyranny reached neighboring kingdoms, and emissaries from faraway lands began to discuss the dark reign of King Alistair. They formed alliances, preparing for a possible intervention to save the suffering citizens of Viridia. Alistair, however, was not oblivious to these rumblings. He knew his time as king was limited, and he became increasingly paranoid and reclusive. In a final act of defiance, a group of brave individuals within Viridia decided to take a stand against their wicked ruler. Led by a charismatic young woman named Elena, they organized a resistance movement determined to overthrow the oppressive regime. They distributed pamphlets, rallying the people to join their cause and reclaim their freedom. Despite the risks, the resistance grew in numbers, uniting people from all walks of life. They planned secret meetings, strategized, and prepared for the inevitable confrontation with the king's forces. The kingdom's underground network flourished as they gathered intelligence and sought support from sympathizers both within and outside Viridia. The Day of Reckoning arrived. The people of Viridia, armed with a newfound sense of purpose, took to the streets in a massive uprising. They demanded justice and the removal of their tyrannical ruler. King Alistair, now confronted with the collective fury of his subjects, trembled in fear within the walls of his castle. The battle was fierce and relentless, but the people's determination prevailed. The resistance fought valiantly, ultimately breaching the castle gates and overpowering the king's remaining loyalists. In a climactic confrontation, Elena stood before Alistair, his once mighty facade crumbling before her eyes. With a mixture of anger and sorrow, Elena pronounced judgment upon the fallen king. Alistair, stripped of his crown, was banished from Viridia forever, never to be seen or heard from again. The kingdom rejoiced as the dark cloud of Alistair's reign lifted, replaced by the hope of a brighter future. The story of King Alistair serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the destructive power of greed and corruption. It teaches us that even the mightiest of rulers can be toppled by the collective will and unwavering determination of the people. Viridia, once again free from the clutches of tyranny, could now rebuild and flourish under a new era of compassionate and just leadership.